be hard pressed to look at that particular image and to, and to say that it's not um, an, a, a post that would be considered racism. I think if you look at it, um, you look at the use of black stereotypes and you look at how the child is being compared to another individual um, in not a very nice way, I think you'd be hard pressed to say that it, it isn't anti-black racism, um, even though that's what we're hearing from some of the members of the community who say, you know, it's just a joke, it's not really racist. It's a uh, representative um, from Peel Region, Peel District School Board. Uh, in response to that picture that you saw, and it was an Instagram post that was getting a lot of traction and a lot of people not happy about this one. Adrian Gobriel, uh, you did the story last night with City News. Yep. So let's, let's backtrack and talk about what happened. So the, the, the school board got this photo, uh, sent to them from some concerned parents over the weekend, and right away the board said something's wrong here. They began their investigation. As you just heard from the board, they're taking a pretty hard stance on this. They're mm -hmm. calling this racism, taking it one step further, calling it anti-black racism. You and I have been at this long enough. It's not very often that you get uh, a school board or any officials to really ever come out and, mm -hmm. and with a, a clear, candid statement like that. But as we just heard, uh, Peel taking a pretty hard one. Okay, so a, a parent spotted this post along Instagram, and it was from a teacher. This teacher was an occasional teacher with the Peel District School Board? Yes, so we know the Brampton Elementary School where the teacher taught at. We're not releasing mm -hmm. it for obvious reasons. We want to protect the child's identity. But yes, uh, an occasional teacher, though, um, was told by faculty off camera that she regularly supplied for a kindergarten class at this Brampton Elementary School. Mm -hmm. You know, I spoke to some some uh, some parents as well, who whose kids go to kindergarten, whose kids go to this school, and they looked at it and they said, you know, it looks like bullying to me, right? You have someone poking fun at a student, a and young student, a young student yeah. at that, and, and having fun at them. I, I don't know if we can pull up the picture again. Let's do that, and let, let's let's look at the references again. And so, so if anyone didn't really get a chance to, what are they comparing this young child to? So that is uh, Marlon Wayans. It's from a, a 90s comedy flick, and they're comparing the young child's braids on the right mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, a caricature on the left holding a gun, saying, you know, who rocked it better? Laugh out loud, laugh out loud, laugh out loud. And here's the thing. If you are, um, and you don't even have to be this child's parent, just, just, just a person looking at this immediately, you know this is inappropriate. So this brings again to light the idea of social media. I know Peel has been trying to be at the forefront of, even with their students mm -hmm. saying, um, your digital footprint exists forever. And they're talking to students. Yes. Now at a whole other level. Yeah, and they, they also have, you know, social media guidelines mm -hmm. uh, for teachers. They're, they're, we have a quick board right now, a, a statement from the social media guidelines. You know, in, in part, it basically reads that, uh, that you know, you, your off-duty conduct, even not directly related to students, is relevant to your suitability to teach. And as such, staff should use sound judgment, do care, when using things like social media. Everyone should. And here's the thing. If you're, if you're a parent and you see something that's wrong, what are the steps? So this parent reported or it was spotted? They actually, you know, this was an Instagram, this post was on an Instagram story. Gotcha, yeah. They took a screen grab of it mm -hmm. and they tweeted it out and they linked Peel, uh, the Peel District School Board and right away Peel was on it. Okay, so that, that's your best bet. I mean, if you... S yeah, you know, the, the, obviously you could you could reach out to uh, you could reach out to the board, but it's a weekend. Staff aren't in really. You know, in this day and age, you want to get someone's attention quickly. Mm -hmm. Social media. And we don't know what's going to happen with this teacher just yet. Teacher right now is on house assignment. That means that the teacher uh, can't pick up any supply shifts and peel. Mm -hmm. The teacher can't talk to any students can't talk to any staff. It's under investigation, as we know and as we heard, though, as we also heard, uh, the school board taking a pretty hard stance on this one. Yeah. And, you know, I had some people reach out to me on social media. They're wondering, you know, can you even post a, a picture of a student? Well, you normally can because kids, parents, and guardians sign waiver forms at the beginning of the year, but sure. it's supposed to be for educational purposes. Not in this context, by any this, this isn't so educational. No. Your full story is on uh, citynews.ca, yep. and so that's all linked there. Thank you so much for coming in, Adrian. My pleasure. Appreciate it.